Need to reset your car's computer? Disconnecting the battery might be the answer, but timing is everything. Here's what you need to know before you touch that wrench. When you disconnect the battery, you're cutting power to the engine control module. This little computer brain stores all your car's error codes and learning data. Without power, it can't hold on to this information. But before we get to the exact timing, you need to understand why this actually works. Your car's computer is constantly monitoring dozens of sensors. Oxygen sensors, mass airflow sensors, throttle position sensors, and more. When something goes wrong, it stores that information as a diagnostic trouble code. These codes don't just disappear when the problem is fixed. They stick around, sometimes causing your car to run in what's called limp mode. This is where the computer restricts power to protect your engine from potential damage. The computer also stores what's called adaptive learning data. Every time you drive, it's making tiny adjustments to fuel delivery, ignition timing, and idle speed based on your specific engine and driving habits. Over time, this data can become corrupted or outdated, especially if you've made modifications or repairs. There's also something called keep alive memory. This is powered by a small capacitor that maintains certain settings even when the engine is off. But when you disconnect the battery, this capacitor slowly drains, taking all that stored information with it. Now that you understand the science behind it, let's get into the actual process. First, turn off your engine completely. Remove the key or push the stop button. Now disconnect the negative terminal first. That's the black cable with the minus sign. This prevents any electrical shorts. You might be tempted to just touch the cables together after disconnecting to speed things up. Don't do this. Some people think this drains the system faster, but it can actually cause voltage spikes that damage sensitive electronics. Another mistake people make is disconnecting the positive terminal first. Always go negative first, positive second when removing, then reverse the order when reconnecting. This prevents accidental shorts if your wrench touches the car's frame. Now here's what you've been waiting for. Most car computers need 15 to 30 minutes with the battery disconnected to fully reset. But here's the key part. Here's where patience pays off. Wait at least 15 minutes. For stubborn systems or older cars, give it the full 30 minutes. Some mechanics even recommend an hour for complete peace of mind. During this time, the computer is essentially taking a nap. All those error codes, fuel trim adjustments, and idle learning parameters are slowly fading away. Your car's computer constantly learns your driving habits. It adjusts fuel mixtures, idle speeds, and shift points based on how you drive. A reset wipes this slate clean. You'll also clear most error codes. That annoying check engine light should turn off, at least temporarily. But here's the catch. If the underlying problem still exists, those codes will come back. The reset doesn't fix broken sensors or faulty parts. It just gives you a fresh start. Before you disconnect anything, know that you'll lose your radio presets. Your clock will reset to midnight. If you have memory seats, those settings are gone too. Your car might also run a little rough when you first start it. This is normal. The computer needs time to relearn your engine's sweet spots. Battery resets work great for minor glitches. Maybe your car stalled once and the computer got confused. Or perhaps a loose gas cap triggered an emissions code. For these simple issues, a reset often does the trick. But if you have a failing oxygen sensor or a real mechanical problem, you're just buying time. The issues will return, usually within a few drive cycles. Some car brands are pickier than others. Honda and Toyota systems sometimes need longer reset periods. German cars like BMW and Mercedes often reset quickly but may throw new codes as they recalibrate. If you're dealing with transmission issues, you might need to drive for several miles after the reset. The computer needs to relearn shift points and adapt to your driving style. 15 to 30 minutes is your sweet spot for most cars. It's long enough to clear the computer's memory but short enough that you won't be waiting around all day. Just remember, this is a diagnostic tool, not a magic fix. If those error codes keep coming back, it's time to dig deeper and find the real problem. Your car's computer is trying to tell you something. Sometimes it just needs to clear its throat first.